It's Madden NFL 24, where we'll see teams who have been division rivals since 1961. It's the Green Bay Packers and the Philadelphia Eagles, and it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to one of the great cities of the world, London, England. Coming up, another installment of the NFL International Series, and it should be a great one, as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and as we look at this matchup, Every time there's something different to focus on. So I'll just ask you, what do you see here in this one? Well, Rembrandt, you've given me a pretty blank canvas to focus on, haven't you? Yeah. Where do you think I'm going to go with this? Oh, secondary? You know me. <laughs> you know me well, right? In a game like this, it's always about the secondary. Can they handle the passing attack and make a few plays? Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And we are underway here in London. Keyshawn Nixon now going to bring it out of his end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. So the Packers offense backed up here to begin their first drive. They'll be led out by a first-round pick in the 2020 draft out of Utah State. This is Jordan Love. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. That's a pickup of 11 and a first down on their first offensive play. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? They go bootleg. Love. Throwing left side and Watson has it. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Play action this time with Love. Throw right side, hauled in by Dobbs. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. That one, a first down pickup of eight. To throw now, here's Love. He finds his man complete. That's Jenkins. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs. And they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Love now on second down. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Love, they go play action now. Complete. Well, I'm quite 
make sure that they envisioned a much better start to this game when they practiced all week, but they failed on that third down play. That brings up fourth down, and they'll probably have to punt it away. Here's Daniel Whelan now. Back deep is Britton Covey. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. So here come the Eagles for their initial possession of the game. They'll be led out by a Heisman runner-up during his college days. It's the versatile Jalen Hurts. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Oh, wide open, complete. Down the left sideline. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown. An 80-yard touchdown. And the Eagles will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. Elliott good on the extra point, and it's now a 7 0 game. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field of the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Second down, Jacobs once more. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Four yards the pick up, first down. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. Jordan Love ready on first down here. And that one too wide. And incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. Second and 10. Love. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. So much of this game is focus and concentration. And whenever I see guys running the in route, I know that in the back of their mind, they're always wondering who's lurking inside that might put a big head on them as they try and catch the ball. On third down, Love. And this one is incomplete. 
Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. And here's Daniel Whelan on now to punt. and 10. So back onto the field here come the Eagles for their second drive. Well partner you know coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown sometimes that's not really true but last drive that was the case one play to get into the end zone and now they'll try to duplicate that success here and it's rare for those moments to happen incredible when they do and you saw the celebration pure unbridled joy after that one and they'll begin by running the option. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Second and seven. They run with a dangerous Saquon Barkley. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. They'll come up now, third and three. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Not at all what they envisioned on third down. Three yards in the wrong direction. As a linebacker, you're taught to stay just slightly behind the ball carrier just in case he makes a cutback. But when you find the gap, shoot it. And he found it all right. Took it straight into the backfield and made the tackle for a loss. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. Jaden Reed is deep for Green Bay. This will be a 41-yard punt, three on the return. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. They've had it twice, they've punted twice, not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, Everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Now a second down throw for Love here. And his throw is incomplete. That open man that time, they ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Now they'll bring four receivers into the fold here. It's third and long. Now Love. And they'll find the open man. That's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. Now that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. First down going to the air with Love. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And incomplete on the deep ball. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. Here's second and ten. To pass, here's Jordan Love. And he 
takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Again, it's Love. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 27-yard line. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. When I played in the yard as a kid, I used to imitate the spectacular catches that I would see on TV. I don't think I ever imitated one quite that well. <laughs> Come on, give yourself some credit. No, I know better. What we just saw there, that was pretty special. Love with a pass caught by Musgrave, the tight end. So eight yards on the completion there, and it'll be second in a couple. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. From the 20, here's second in a couple. Love now. This pass complete to Melton. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And here he'll get it down to the seven. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. On second down, Dillon. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. Let's go now, let's go. Third down and six. Back to throw. Love. And this is going to be incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. And his kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So, three drives, three points. Obviously, not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Well, these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Parker that time. That'll bring up second down. On the option left, it's Hurts. Across the 30 to the 31-yard line. 
He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. And if you like defensive football, focus on the defensive end on this play. He does everything exactly right. Reads the play and makes sure he spills it for a small gain. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. With Sean Gary that time fighting free and getting to the quarterback. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. Here's Braden Mann now as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And he'll return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Love. And well, that is incomplete. Well, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. One thing you have to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air. And I'm not sure that he didn't. But he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Looking to throw. Love. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A first down there on a pickup of 25. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Off the play fake, Love. That's to the tight end, Musgrove. And he's got this down to the 35. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. And now some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. Oh, jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe trying to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. And oftentimes when you see that, that means the play call was supposed to come in his direction, and he was eager to go catch a pass. They will run the draw with Jacobs. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So that flag obviously takes away the good yardage that they had on the play. And talk about a momentum shift because we can visibly see this celebration shifting from one side of the field to the other as soon as everyone saw the flag. Jacob's going to try the middle. And nothing but green glass here, middle of the field. And even 50 yards for Josh Jacobs. And the Packers have taken the lead. Well, earlier in the week when they had their scouting report meeting, this was the explosiveness that they talked about trying to contain. They were concerned about it all week, yet he still did it to them. Wonder how that's going to carry over the rest of the game. Anders Carlson now for the point after. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So that drive, four plays. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs.
Carlson back out there now to send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 22. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second and a couple. Throwing his hurts. Quick slant to Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. As they've got it as we resume action. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. So the completion good for seven there, and it'll be second down. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. Second down, here's Hurts. Goes right back to Smith again. And Devontae going to pick up the Eagles first down as the tackle made at the 31-yard line. That one goes for eight yards. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. But first down, Hurts. Buying time to his left. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. So from the 26-yard line, here's second and four. Hurt sets up to throw it. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. It looked like they had an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't have the concentration of the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Here's Hurts to throw. Oh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will knot us up at 10. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know there's virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no wind, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. now at 10 apiece as the kicks away. Nixon now from his end zone. And ultimately he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. 
This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Throwing. Love. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right, they did something to disrupt that timing. The offense on third down tonight, two for five to this point. This is third and eight to throw now. Here's Love. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off by Reed Blankenship. And he'll take it across midfield to the 46-yard line. Well, when I saw the pressure coming at him, that just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy, and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. And at least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Call it a gain of three on the play, and that'll bring up second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. On second down, here's Barkley. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Nice job there finding room to maneuver, and he worked his way into another first down. And look, they had great field position to start, but boy, they've done a nice job taking advantage of it. Now they're just hoping to cap it off. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the gun, here's a run by Gamewell. And that's just a solid, good physical run there as he motors for nine yards. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? when the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Line of scrimmage, the nine. Second and about a yard. From the gun, it's Hurts. Over the middle to Smith. Touchdown! Devontae Smith on the receiving end from Jalen Hurts. And the Eagles have taken the lead.
Elliott now to add the extra point. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. That time, a six-play drive. And it was finished off by a touchdown from Devontae Smith. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This take it in at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. From the 29, here's the second and four. Love. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second down and two. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. I haven't met a defense coordinator yet. The thing second and two is a fun situation to try and defend. Playbook is wide open for an offense partner. Nice job. Hold him to one after that eight-yard pickup on first down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, love to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he has another first down as they get the ball down to the Eagles 35. Defense was thinking run and their delta pass in just under 20 yards. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off for big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Love with a give to Dillon, and he'll take this down to the 33. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. They go back to the ground, this time Jacobs. And not much running room. Down to the 32. 
They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Love. They go play action now. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. And it bangs off the left upright and deflects away. It's no good. And this will stay at a seven-point game. So plenty of leg, but it's the accuracy there that lets him down. Yeah, he hit it really well. I think this might have been good from 55, but you'll see it just conk off that upright, and they're denied a chance at three points. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. The tackle there by the safety, Xavier McKinney. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second and nine. Hurts. Throw right side. Caught by Goddard, the tight end. He'll go down as a gain of six. And now we've got a third down and three. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. The offense on third down tonight, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. Here it's third and three. Looking to throw. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. He finds him again, Saquon Barkley. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, no one likes to see that drop, but I guarantee it's not going to stop his quarterback from going back to him anytime he has open space. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Back to throw again. Room to maneuver at the 35. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 29-yard line. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And it's complete right back in the hands of Smith. To give him two yards there on the completion, and it's second down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. From the 27, Hurts. 
It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 12-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. Over the middle, complete. It's Smith. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Second and four. They could still get a first down without scoring. Throwing his hurts. Flush to his right. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. throw for it on third and one. He will find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A great effort there as the first half is winding down. And the Eagles will extend their lead here just before halftime. And this drive, Charles, are very well timed as they score with very little time remaining in this first half. And I'm reminded that they get the second half kickoff as well, so they can break this one wide open before the other guys have a chance to possess the football. Elliott good with a PAT, and a lead now up to 14. So that drive, 12 plays in length, and it was finished off by a touchdown from Devontae Smith. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catching the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. Final play of the half, Love. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida, and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome, everyone, to our Creative Village studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. The Eagles were led in the first half by their dynamic quarterback, Jalen Hurts. He threw a first quarter touchdown pass, then two more in the second quarter, a three touchdown half. And he may just be getting started. All right, coach, thank you very much. As we welcome you back for quarter number three.
Let's go, man. As they say here in London, all to play for as we are back underway in the second half. It is fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner, yeah, they went into the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Second half begins with a run from Barkley. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. He had had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. The ball on the 32, it's second and two. They'll run wide side here with Barkley. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. This short throw caught by Goddard. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Here's a second and five. Now back to throw. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair. Because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> almost impossible. Well, yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run too. And they run the option here on first and ten. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. But anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Second down, here's Hurts. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. And they visited the end zone frequently in this one, and obviously they wanted another one. But give credit to the defense there. They may not make the comeback, but pride showed good sack on that play. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Flushed out right, and he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. Nice call on defense, rolling out the nickel package for that big third down play, and he did an excellent job locking down coverage and forcing him to try and run for it, and he doesn't get there, which brings up a big fourth down call. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And this will pin him back deep. That's going to kick out of bounds right at about the seven-yard line. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. 
no yardage to be found. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he'll find a little space. He gets this up near the 10. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. That is caught, and he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. That goes for a gain of 31. At this point on the field, a lot of play callers have a little trepidation. They're just thinking about running off tackle, quarterback sneaks, anything to try and create a little bit of room. But those aggressive play callers, they think to themselves, this is the right place to take a shot. And they do. And boy, are they successful. Now the big play pushes them all the way out to the 40 now for first down. Now Love. Safety blitz turns out to be a great call defensively as they sack him for a loss of nine. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up and try to keep that momentum going. Love. That is incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Love. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. A sack by Brandon Graham. He's been doing that since he entered the league in 2010. A third and long, you knew that he was going to throw it. He just couldn't find anybody to throw it to. Yeah, and it shouldn't have been a surprise, but that was perfect execution of their nickel defense. That fifth defensive back, the extra defender, he really tightened up things downfield in coverage, and they were able to get to him in the pocket. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Eagles will have it taking over first and ten. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tempt to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10, just shy of the 30. He'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Play action. Here's Hertz on the move to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Like how they started the third quarter here. They force a punt on the first drive. And after this sack, it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely. Maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room. So after that sack, Hertz and the Eagles. Tough spot here. Third and long. Back to throw. To him again. Kenny Clark providing a little deja vu back to back sacks, and now they're staring at a fourth and long. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead, and thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Packers offense set to go. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10.
So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. To pass, here's Jordan Love. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Well, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Play fake. Here's Love. And that's going to be incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Bluff. He's going to have the first down and then some. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. And that's one of the better plays we've seen this offense put together so far. They haven't been able to get on track much at all. But listen, they're only down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter and the entire fourth remaining. So, stranger things have happened. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. 97 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? To throw now. Here's Love. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Jordan Love ready on first down here. This throw is going to be incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Love now. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. To the air again, Love. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. So off goes Love. On is Carlson for the Packer field goal. From the right hash, this from 48. And this one is right down the middle, and that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And he returns this to the 22. The Eagles just about set to go to work on offense. 
They had that first half lead, but they have been shut down here in this third quarter, so time to retool a bit. And probably need to tap into that emotional vein that gets them back to really playing hard and effectively. Because a lot of times we think it's just play calls and this isn't working and they're shutting them down. Sometimes when you get a lead, you lose your edge. You don't play quite as hard. That's what they're looking for here. Trying to get that edge back as they've watched this lead shrink a little. Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. That'll give him eight that time. And they'll be left with second and a couple. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. But first down, Hurts. And that one to the right side and incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. They go play action with Hurts. And his throw here is incomplete. And now offensively, it's third and ten, and I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. Here's Hurts to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Hurts sets up to throw it. Over the middle here to Brown. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down, and finish this one off. Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back now here in London. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Preston Smith able to take him down. It's a loss of three. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. He's got his target. That's complete. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, 
you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Barkley is into the end zone for the Eagle touchdown. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Elliott on for the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. So that one, a long 11-play drive. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Loving the Packers now with a first and ten at their own 20-yard line. Love looking to throw it. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Throwing. Love. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Back to throw. Love. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A three-score game here late. You could probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But they trim that lead down to just two scores. That's still a benefit to this squad. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. A short throw to Musgrave. So no gain on the play. And that will bring up third and one got to give credit where it's due really nice defense on that play the pitch and catch was successful but not any run after it a yard all they need but it's third down trying to run for it with Jacobs and he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field and I don't think he got there Nothing doing on second and third down after that nine-yard gain on first. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it, get the first down, close it out. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. 
But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Looking to throw. Love. A short throw to Musgrave. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 19. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Now second and nine. A handoff. Jacobs running to the left. And they'll get to him just inside the 15. Even after the strong run we just saw, they're able to corral him quickly defensively. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Third and four. Now whistles here, flag down. I think one of the Packer linemen was moving. Well, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. After the false start, sets up a third and nine. Play action this time with Love. Blitz coming and down he goes. Josh Sweat rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. Well, partner, you and I will be headed to the airport, but after this game, when it's interview time, someone's going to ask this quarterback what hurt worse, the interceptions or the sacks. This whole day, it's been rough. Barring a miraculous comeback, this offense isn't going to win this game, but he's probably going to say what hurt most is the loss. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. The Packers unable to pick up the first. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop, is a big momentum play. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Hurts throw complete there to Smith. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 63 yards receiving for him now, and that last catch good enough for a first down. Well, a clear running situation. Try to take time off the clock. He ran the previous play, set that play action up nicely. Boy, did they ever, because they had shown the ability to run the football, so now you lose your keys as a defense. You dive for the running play, and they hit him over the top. Well, they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. 
61 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game against them, but tally that one on the side of the defense. Do you think maybe, possibly, it could be a little bit of a changer for them? Maybe not a game changer, but a little bit of a momentum one that maybe they can string together some pretty good plays and slow them down. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it, sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And, yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. The offense on third down tonight. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This is third and 11. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. This from 36 yards out. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so that you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. The Packers ready to take over offensively. They've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD, and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. So he stopped for no gain. And that will bring up second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Love now on second down. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. On third down, Love. And that ball incomplete, nearly intercepted. Took a chance with that one. It'll lead to a fourth down. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he's fortunate on that one. Not to have another turnover on his ledger. Desperation time here. Love on fourth down. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack. 
And a turnover on downs. The Packers unable to pick up the first. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. A handoff to Barkley on the option. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. It's second and seven from the nine. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. And they'll come up second and seven. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? On third down, Barkley, and he is going to lose yardage here. A three-yard loss, fourth down now. When this offense gathers to watch the tape, they're going to like a lot of what they saw. They put up big numbers, but they might fast-forward through that last play. Oh, there won't be any fast-forwarding, partner. I've sat in those sessions before. You end up spending more time on the bad plays than you do on the good ones. It's just the nature of coaches. But I know sitting in that room, when you've had a big game, the night that they've had, you don't want to hear that. You just want to focus on the good stuff. The kick by Elliott is good. So the starting field position was terrific following the surprising turnover on downs, but the end result, only three points. Simply stated, I think you have to look at that as a missed opportunity. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Nixon now from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Now trotting out there, the Packers getting ready to go. They're down big here late. I don't know, You just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said coach what do you want to call he just waved a hand like who cares let's <laughs> get out up. of here and do something <laughs> some other time but some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as they continue as they continue to move forward yeah probably just want to put this one behind them he finds his man complete it's Jenkins Here's a four-receiver look now. Three of those guys out to the right side on second and eight. Now Love. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Well, that's one way to 
convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Going back to love. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. He started out having some troubles back in the first half connecting with his receivers. Really hasn't gotten a whole lot better. Yeah, he's at less than 50%, and you and I both know that just won't do. So I would think about spreading things out, putting it on the receivers, make them win those one-on-one -on -one battles on the perimeter and find their way open. To pass, here's Jordan Love. He finds his man complete. It's Jenkins. Now whistles and a timeout called here. Not sure of the point of this, but they'll stop it with four seconds to go in the game. One last shot now for Love. One last shot at the end zone. Complete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. So fly, Eagles fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. And it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets. Defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them to just a field goal? That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination and a pretty good game plan, pretty good idea of what they wanted to accomplish, just love the execution, love the tenacity, love the way they finished. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. Good night, everybody.